What's going on guys? Matty here, TSSAthletics.com. We've got a back day. Athletic Aesthetics, week three, day two. We started off with a single arm 45 degree pull down or 45 degree row. Uh, we used the uh, lat pull down machine. We sit back on the floor and it creates a 45 degree angle. Uh, we did three sets of 15 each arm. I go one arm, partner goes one arm. Then you switch arms and do it that way. I like to get a high rep set, switch partners, and then do the other arm. If you go one arm straight to the other arm, you kind of start to break down a little bit. Give yourself even balance of uh, uh, rest time between each arm. It, to me, it works a little bit better. So we did three sets there with ascending weight. And then we did two arms. We added about 40, 50 pounds, uh, 45 degree pull down both arms. Um, the, the one arm work really gives you a, a great contraction, particularly with pulling. You can get a much deeper stretch, whereas you're kind of locked in with two arms, the one arm, you get a little bit more. You can kind of angle your body a little bit and feel it out. Whenever we're doing back, most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time we train it like bodybuilders. Back works great with bodybuilding hypertrophy style training. With your pressing, powerlifting style works great, but not so much for back. Obviously you have deadlifts and clean pulls and throws and stuff like that, which you can do for strength and power, but bodybuilding for the back seems to work best for most people. Moving on, chest supported rows, ascending weights, Four sets of 12, and on the final set, we did a drop set. Um, you don't, for the drop sets, you don't just have to do the same exercise but drop the weight. That's a typical weighted drop set, but we also use uh, mechanical leverage drop sets. Maybe you change the exercise. So you're using the same muscles, but you can change the exercise. For example, uh, barbell row straight into a, um, a body weight row, and you can change the angle with the body weight um, to be flat down, elevated feet to flat to elevated uh, torso to make it a little bit easier. So that's, uh, that's a great way to do your drop sets, mechanical drop sets. So that, and then we did some upright rows with 35 pound dumbbells. I like doing some high rep upright rows. I don't go too heavy with those unless I'm doing clean pulls or snatch high pulls, something like that, where I'm using the whole body, get that pow uh, powerful hip drive. Um, but with dumbbell rows, we're a little bit more strict. I don't like that. And I like the dumbbells because I can kind of pull like a V um, down towards your waist. They'll be like at a point at the bottom and I open it towards the top and that keeps my shoulders a little bit healthier. When you're using a barbell, you're locked in a position which can cause a little bit more impingement in the uh, shoulders. A lot of people will say upright rows are just a bad no-go exercise. I do not believe any exercise is good or bad. It comes down to the individual and personal application to an exercise. If you've got jacked up shoulders, that might be a bad exercise. If you have healthy shoulders, it might not be so bad, but it also comes down to how you're performing it. Locked into a barbell with a close grip would probably be the worst way. A little bit wider grip, a little bit better, but with the dumbbells, you have freedom of motion. With kettlebells, doing a powerful hip swing, like a swing high pull, that's really good as well because you can control the position and the angle of your shoulders and adjust it throughout the entire range of motion. You're not locked in. Um, same thing goes for behind the neck pressing and pull downs. That's for a lot of people, that's a big no-go, never do exercise. I do not believe that. It's not so black and white. It comes down to your individual um, ability. Uh, so for some people it's totally fine if you have the requisite mobility to do it behind the neck safely, but if it causes you pain, then it's a bad exercise for you uh, individually. After that, that's all our big lifts, and then number five we did a giant set, dumbbell curls with 35s, reverse flies with 20s on an incline bench, and then um, dumbbell, I did RDLs, my partner did shrugs, he just straight up shrugged them, and I did uh, RDLs. 35 pounds on the curls, 20 pounds on the flies, and 100 pounds on the, uh, the shrugs or the RDLs. Three sets of 12 straight through, and that blew me up. I don't know if it was this humidity or just I'm out of shape, or it was just really that hard, but I was smoked after every set. Um, so these are our big lifts. Um, obviously some warming up with the single arm, that got us fired up, and then the two biggest ones were the, the two arm row and uh, the chest supported row, and then the upright row was an accessory movement, and then this was a little bit more accessory slash conditioning, um, boom. And uh, conditioning, remember, I talk about this frequently in previous videos, your conditioning is a little bit more specific and your strength is a little bit more general. So if your, if your sport is bodybuilding, then your conditioning would be high rep isolation exercises, this would be one good example. If you're a hockey player, a little bit different. Football player, a little bit different. You have to look at the specifics of your sport 
BJJ, MMA, obviously you're going to be one of extremely well conditioned for three to five minutes at a time with full body exercises. But full body exercises isn't the only thing to do, such as air dying bike conditioning. While they're great for full body conditioning, think about it. Some, some athletes don't need that at all. So if the, if the current idea is aesthetics, while that's, that kind of stuff is good for fat burning, you still want to um, build the muscle, so um, high rep isolation exercises done with short rest periods is a fantastic conditioning um, idea for you temporarily, okay? And conditioning can change throughout the year, depends on where you're at. So that's it, athletic aesthetics, week three, day two, um, aesthetic day, training back. One more quick thing, I put a link down below. I've got some t-shirts available for anyone who's interested in the Strength Shop t-shirts. Wednesday, today through Sunday night. It's a special link. Check it out if you want to support TSS Athletics. I would appreciate it. Check it out. Thanks.